In this video we're going to take a look at how to play Whiskey in the Jar made famous by Thin Lizzy. It is actually a traditional Irish folk song. Later covered by uh, Metallica that wasn't that dissimilar to Thin Lizzy's version. Now the introduction I just played there isn't on the Metallica uh, version of it. Now the song itself is in G but the intro to my ear uh, is more uh, in keeping with A minor before the song starts and that is in, in G or E minor depending on which way you look at it. But I'm thinking in terms of the A minor scale for the introduction. But there's chromatic notes in there that uh, complicate it all up when you're trying to figure out what key in. But it is played over A minor. And we're starting off on the 8th fret of the high A string. Now I've seen loads of millions of different fingerings for this one, so this is what I'm settling on. So 8th fret. 7th, 5, 7, and bend that 8th up all the way to the 10th. So, obviously, the guitar tabs on the screen saves me being a bingo caller. Sorry. So, you've got that 8 to 5 on the B. Seven, five, seven, six. So that chromatic uh, note there, and then we have this. And then chromatically on the seventh of G, we descend all the way to the fourth. Seven, six, five on the D string. Same again on here. Then on the eighth of V, we descend all the way down to the fifth. And then there's an acoustic guitar which goes G, F, E minor. Or more. Before the main riff starts. So that intro again. Incidentally, uh, Thin Lizzy didn't actually uh, want this to be released as a single as it doesn't really sound like the way Thin Lizzy sounds when you think of hits like The Boys Are Back In Town and Don't Believe A Word. It doesn't really have much in common stylistically with them songs uh, but the record company released it and it was a huge hit and I believe uh, they performed this on the Old Grey Whistle Test uh, classical performance. The main riff played over E minor G, E minor, G. We're on the 7th fret of the G. And then hammer on from 7 to 9. The tendency is to go... But it's 8th of B to the 9th of G, 7th of them notes, right the 9 8. So you play over E minor, then you play the same riff again over G, then again over E minor. We have this over G, which is on the G string open, second to fourth, third of B, and then on open O to O, four O. That's your main riff, which you'll hear throughout the song. There's a little alternative bit which you'll hear, which is just on the seventh there, and then 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 8, or you could go 10, 12 to G if you so wanted. 
So that's how to play your intro and your main riff. Now, the song itself, uh, if you were just going to strum this one, uh, would be G, to E minor, to C, to G, to D, to C, to G. That's how you would strum it. The way I do this, and again I've seen it like, tabbed out in a, in a few different ways, but the way I like to do it is to go... end bit I've seen done a little bit more complicated but I think this keeps it nice and simple on the guitar tab I've tried to write it out in a more simplistic form to be able to follow it I've seen a tab where it's going like that but I tend to go so th uh, third fret of the B and we're using the open G throughout and we're going to go 5, 3, open, move to the next section, same thing again but on the 5th and 7th frets, then 5, 5, 7, 8, 8, 7, 5, and then we're going to move to the 3rd fret, 8, 7, 5, open, and then like a D, fourth fret there and then back to the fifth seven eight seven five and then three seven five eight seven five open so all together That's the way I would approach that one. That really just takes us now to the guitar solo. Um, I'm on nine minutes now, so this isn't going to be one of those videos uh, to learn it in five one. Uh, brilliant guitar solo, and it's classic rock, and it's a type that if you want a solo spot and show off, uh, it's a one to learn. So I want to play the guitar solo through. I'm going to use a guitar tab here uh, because when you're explaining guitar solos it's very like being a bingo call as I often say. Now I'm working here and I'm in the scale of E minor if that helps you out and the first section I think is in that that scale shape and we're starting off on the seventh fret seven eight ten your first line then we'll switch up to this a minor uh, shape to me 
uh, again on the 12th fret so that the scale shapes kind of following that so we've got the and we come down then we have the So that's your first section. We're then going to play that all the way through again. Then we're going to go on the G string 9, 10, 12, 10. Sorry. Like that. Which I quite like is. Um, we're going to the 13th of the B, sliding into it, back to the 12th of G, 15th, back to the 12th of G, 17th. And then we have this bit. So, 12th frets there, uh, which you see on the guitar tab. Brian May way of doing the, the D, 13th and 14th on there. And then I'm going to go, like, muting the G string. 12, 10, 8, 9, back to the 10th, 12th, like that. So we have that, uh, what we got. We then come to the end of the solo. Now, if you feel as if I'm going uh, too fast with this one, rewind, pause. And, and take notice of the guitar tab is the easiest way and it saves me making videos that are an hour long explaining this so your next section again in that shape like almost like E minor pentatonic uh, which we, we've got really simple uh, 14th fret of the D moving to the G string got them hammer-ons and pull-offs and then 12 11 10 at the end then we have the so you got on D 12 you like going up and down kind of thing 12 10 14 12 15 14 G string 12 10 14 12 and then this little 13th of the B, 14th of G, like that, and then we have the, which is sliding into the 14th of G, 13th of the B, bend up the 15th, go to the 17th, and then on the high E string, 15, 17. And then we've got right at the end there before we go into the, like a harmonized guitar solo. So that solo again all the way through. So as always, thank you for watching. Had a few interruptions from the cat which distracted me. Uh, thank you for watching.